Uh, we had a great thing happen one time when we had lunch. We were standing in the street Do, talking. Are you kidding me? Best day of my life. Yeah. We were standing in the street talking, and uh, we're both, you know, we're both television personalities. We've, uh, you're a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a, a, a very well-known uh, comedian. We were standing in the street, and not a single person uh, stopped. No one said us. hello. And then who did we see? You'd think that would be some kind of spectacle. Yeah, These two guys. Nothing. And we were working it. We, uh, then, we were staying there for a full 10 minutes talking. And then Bradley Cooper showed up. Bradley Cooper showed up. The Bradley Cooper. And I was thrilled because yeah. I went to college at the same time and at the same college as Bradley Cooper. I was in the improv group. He was in the nomadic theater company. But I never met him. We never crossed paths. We were at parties yeah. and things. He was famously good looking. That was an interesting oh, thing. Oh, gotcha. That didn't develop later in life? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you really have to be so good looking to be good looking in college, like famously good looking in college. Oh, like, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in other words, you can be, like, he's the sexiest man alive, but you can pull that con over on a people, <laughs> but not on your English class. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You really have to sell it local. And he had, he had it. Like, he really, people would be like, you seem good, but we never met. And then here we are on the street, and you know Bradley, and, and you introduced me to him. And I say, hey, I was in the improv group. You went to, you were in the other theater group. And he just goes, all right. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's a, that's a letdown. But, uh, but in retrospect, I blame you because, well, because of the introduction. I feel like on this show, you do such a nice job. You, it's a film, this next guy's a filmmaker. He's been sleepwalking me, does his thing. Got a new tour. Please welcome Mike Birbiglia. You didn't do that. You just go, mm, Mike Birbiglia. And I feel like you could have gone big. You could have been like, this, this guy, he's a very small part in Trainwreck. He's the 75th lead on Orange is the New Black. He was on one episode of Girls. Please welcome Mike Birbiglia. I'd be like, nice to meet you. He'd be like, oh, wow. Yeah, I should have given you a talk show introduction. Do you remember the other thing that I remember happening is after no one, not a single person noticed us. Yes. Uh, a, a, a very a beautiful woman walked by yeah. and like saw yeah. Bradley yeah, Cooper Irish and went into woman? like, yeah, it was like an okay. Irish woman. Yeah, yeah. And it was like the Matrix where everything <laughs> got really slow. She was like, Phoom. No, it's wild. Yeah. He's astoundingly beautiful. Yeah, he really is. But th and that, then we like had lunch and just ate in silence. Well, that, lu <laughs> that lunch was very memorable for me because I was writing this movie I made called Don't Think Twice. A fantastic film. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It, it's about, <laughs> hey. If you're not familiar, it's a film about sort of a, a best group of best friends in an improv group, and someone gets cast on sort of a Saturday Night Live type show, sort of a doppelganger, SNL doppelganger, Lauren Michaels. I was terrified at the time that we were just going to get sued by SNL <laughs> and Lauren Michaels. And so then when we went to lunch, I thought, here's a great opportunity to talk to the person who is my Lauren Michaels, and that's oh. you. Uh, Although, yeah, I don't know. No, like is I don't. That, yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know. I, no, I mean, no, it is. No, <laughs> okay, it is. Good. I mean, like, I, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't know how to call Lauren, so I, I, I can talk to you and yeah. get a vibe on it. So I pitched you the movie. You gave me nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and when I say nothing, I mean precisely nothing. Like you didn't go positive. You didn't go negative. You just go. Hmm. <laughs> I go. It's a movie about this. Blah blah blah. And you go. All right. Yeah. And then when we were leaving. When I was dropping you off of your apartment, I go, hey, what do you think? Do you think Lauren would be, that's the thing I was nervous about. Do you think Lauren would be OK with that movie? And you go, well, Lauren's never going to see your movie. <laughs> and that was not meant to be cruel in any way. It wasn't cruel. Yeah. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Yeah. There's but, a lot of things I've done. And Lauren's the executive producer of the show oh, that know. he has not seen. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but and, and, but you haven't heard from him yet, right? You haven't heard from him about Dunthing No, Johnson. no, okay. I think that would have been, it, yeah, that would have been like a, a great thing if we got sued by SNL. Yeah. In some ways, it would have been a big publicity thing. Yeah. We're much, we're very low, <laughs> we're really under the radar. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm, so I'm on this new tour that we ran into each other on, uh, on, the, on the flight. And then, uh, and then the pot, this podcast, by the way, is my own podcast. So you, when you were doing your, uh, when you put on your earbuds to yeah. tune me out, you were listening to yourself. Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of layers to it. Yeah. I've heard it. <laughs> so this is, because uh, your new uh, show, you're touring a show called The New One. And I don't like to talk about it. Like, I, like, in other words, you know how, like, your favorite movies, like, my favorite movies is your, like, Lady Bird and The Big Sick and Get Out. And, like, what I like to do is, my, to my friends, I say, see this movie, don't see a trailer, don't see, don't re review. Right. And I think that's a really great gift you can give somebody. And so I don't, with my new show, I don't tell people anything about it. I just say, if you like the old albums, the old ones, come see the new one. And so I have this five episode limited. 
podcast where I talk to like old friends, John Mulaney, uh, Judd Apatow, Ira Glass, about the old albums. That's great. So it's and when you talk about them, are they asking you questions about your process to come into jokes, or are you just we just turn on the microphones. You just turn on the microphones, man. What a man, just, what a trippy just thing. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a, I mean, we just talk about it. We just talk about it. free association. And then uh, you got nice. Uh, I did not know you had a podcast, but then uh, Judd Apatow posted this to let everybody know you have a podcast. We, That's... I never announced that I was going to have it, except Judd Apatow wrote on his Instagram doing a podcast with Mike Birbiglia. I just told him he has green veggies stuck between his teeth. <laughs> I thought that was really rude. Yeah. Uh, I'm at this age where my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like they're just like salad holders. <laughs> yeah. I just they, when I eat a salad, 50% goes in my belly, 40% in my teeth, 10% miscellaneous. <laughs> We're going to have to track down that miscellaneous yeah, one yeah. day. Where's the miscellaneous? Uh, thanks so much for being here, buddy. Thank it's you. always good to see you. I can't wait for the new show. Thank you I so like much. I like the last five. Thank you so much. Mike